was a quiet Christmas Eve around our house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a... Except for that yellow-bellied tomcat being chased through the house by a wee little mouse. Oh, the shame of it all! Stockings were hung by the fireplace with care in hopes that Santa would soon be there. The kids were nestled all snug in their beds as visions of sugar plums flowed through their wee little heads. I in my night clothes, mom in hair curlers and a fresh beauty mud pack had just settled down for a short winter nap. When all of a sudden, from outside, arose such a clatter and I ran to the window to see what was the matter. Now there on the lawn in the deep snow below was a miniature sleigh with nine little reindeers and Santa bouncing about in the snow. Oh, he was jumping and shouting, and to the lead reindeer I heard Santa say, Rudolph, you know darn well you're not supposed to land here in the man's front yard. We're supposed to be up there on the rooftop. Now let's get up there right away. Oh, Rudolph, you did that on purpose. Now get back down here right away. And Rudolph, please, this time, wait for me to get back in the sleigh. Now up to the rooftop, by the chimney they stopped, and Santa with his toys, down the chimney he dropped. Mercy me, he landed right smack on his donkey, don't you see? He was battered and bruised from head to foot and covered all over with ashes and soot. He crawled from the fireplace and got to his feet, mumbling some words I dare not repeat. Oh, what a mess, what a sight to see. His right eye for sure, a shiner to be. He had a round red nose that looked like a cherry. Though his cheeks were all scratched, he still appeared merry. He was a chubby little guy with a big fat belly that shook when he moved like a bowl full of jelly. His mouth began to draw up like a bowl and the beard on his chin, covered with soot, looked nothing like snow. Well, he got his composure, smiled, then he laughed, and I knew it right then that he had to be a jolly good elf. He made me feel good and I laughed in spite of myself. Not a word did he speak as he went to his work, filling the stockings and placing down toys. Then to the fireplace he turned with a jerk. With his hand like a flash, grabbed his sore nose, gave out with a shout, ouch, that hurts, don't you know? Then with a sigh, up the chimney he rose. Once on the rooftop, I heard Santa say, okay guys, we're finished for the night. It's back to the North Pole, now we must go. And Rudolph, please, keep it under 55. There's a lot of Smokies between here and there, don't you know? Now up and away, Rudolph, let's go. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. Over the treetops and buildings so tall. Dash away, dash away, dash away all. But I heard Santa say as he flew out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. <laughs> Mercy sakes alive. I always thought Santa Claus went ho, ho, ho. Don't you know?